some years ago. As we traveled the province, we saw cairns built by families recognizing their homestead quarters. We thought this was the way we would like to pay tribute to our pioneers, Jacob and Paulina. We saw dozens of cairns built in different sizes and materials. The committee chose split stone and contracted Carl's tomb in McCreary, Manitoba, to do the masonry. The flat was done by Larson Memorials in Winnipeg. This land is legally subdivided and will be registered as McSemmet's Foundation property. The two flags on each side represent the two people who left their motherland and ventured into the unknown. The blue signifies the sky, yellow signifies the prairie fields that was in golden yellow in Ukraine. We uh, got the Union Jack because this is the flag that, that grandfather always said. He says, first I saw the land 
Then I saw this Union Jacks waving on the port. And uh, we left the Canadian flag for the future generations. It will be up to them to put it up when they feel like it. You can look all around you. At one time, this was solid bush. This land was all cleared by hand. Yes, they worked hard so that we may live better. The Union Jack is the first flag, like I said, that they saw. It also is the flag that Jake and Pauline's children and grandchildren served during the World War I and II. Is uh, farming this land just south of here, which also was Jacob's. And I don't have to raise the microphone or lower it. He's about the same height as I am, so I'll call on Morris now <laughs> to say a few words. Mr. Rosakavich. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to be here to share this special time with the McSimmons family. <clears throat> this family here is gathered today to honor Jacob McSimmons, and rightly so. This is a splendid example of the pioneer spirit which started this community. This was the man of foresight and courage to leave his homeland with his wife and two young sons and come to a strange land with very little to start and must have had required a strength of will rarely seen today. With hard work and sacrifice, they carved out a thriving farm and many of his direct descendants are still farming here in the Euro Plains today. And of course, from that you get the offshoots, you get your professional people, we have school teachers, we have uh, people in other ventures, which uh, makes up uh, the, this country that we do have today. And just going back when, just going back through some of the memos there, I guess Jacob, when he come over here, it was barely $300 cash and a bit of personal belongings, some bedding, and a plow. That's all that was brought over here. Just to go on further with this, as the representative of the rural municipality, I can assure you that you have picked up Jacob's tradition of being the kind of hardworking and valued citizens which we are proud to have in our area. And. Uh, just to, some footnotes that I have here with me and uh, going back to some early days of back in 1896, 1898, 1896 the railroad came to uh, Dauphin. Then 1901 that was an incorporation of the rural municipality of Gilbert Plains. And on June the 6th a returning officer was instructed to post a nomination meeting for June the 25th. And the first council meeting was held on July the 15th, 1901. So you could see the things were just, just starting to take place. So as we look at all of you here today and think of the lifestyle we enjoy here in Canada, I'm sure we would, I'm sure you would feel he made the right choice back in 1898. And I'm sure he'd be proud of all of you as you are of him. And I thank you very much. Thank you, Morris. I hope you're a good neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't plow this carry no one, please. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> now, Aunt Mary is going to do the official unveiling, but since uh, she feels she cannot get up and speak, I will speak on her behalf. But I will get her to, to open the ribbon. On behalf of Aunt Mary, the oldest surviving child of Jacob and Pauline, I officially unveil and dedicate this current Karen in memory of my parents, Jacob and Pauline. May they be remembered by the future generation. And Mary, please take the... Where's the voice? Okay. Four. There you are. Now it's officially unveiled. How about a big hand? Uh, what is here, here, here. Right here. Oh. oh yeah, I forgot to call the first.
Blessed is our God, now and always and forever. Amen. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, life-giving Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere, present and fill all things, treasury of blessing and giver of life, Come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, always, and ever, and forever. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Master, give us our transgressions. O Holy One, come and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Come, let us adore God our King. Come, let us adore Christ our King and God. Come, let us adore and worship the Lord Jesus Christ our King and God. Let us pray to the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. Well, they are very grateful. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
could you join us with your presence tonight, your presence of love and laughter and joy and tears and family and friendship. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done upon earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen.
Fraternity Ward.
technique, Arisa Perovi. She is modeling our maternity wear design. Come on, honey, let's go for it. <laughs> Rumor has it that she intends to identify the man responsible for her condition tonight by weeping at us. So ladies, watch your husband. I got a 20. Is this ours, Terry? Terry. Is this ours is right here. No, our case is over there. No, I, no, I meant the brand name. Is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a little combination of white That's right. Hey, David! Can I see one of those? Because I'm going to get one. Mm -hmm. So this is the tip. That's the type of thing. Okay. Oh, oh, I call it my pizza. I call it my I call it my pizza. I call it my pizza. I I call it my pizza. I I call it my Okay. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Get out of the shot now, okay? Get out of the way. Now, you know. what, what should I be taking? Right? What's the right? Well, because, you see, when Dad and Mother got married, it was after the war and the prices were skyrocketed. And that house was there. And then, uh, this was in 1919, you see, when they got married, and there was a war on, and everything just skyrocketed. And then you got the big depression. And they had a mortgage on it. Mother did not want that land, but Grandma and Grandpa here insisted that... You know,
Oh, cool. It's fun, Jake.